How's it going YouTube? Um, this is Adrian with EDC Pocket Tools and I got a lot of requests on uh, my previous videos, uh, especially my pocket organizer videos, on uh, inquiring about this little pocket hacksaw that I made. Um, so today I want to show you how I made it. So basically, this right here is a lifting rod from a Bosch jigsaw. Um, you might be able to find one uh, used off of a old Bosch jigsaw, um, or you can get it off of eBay, that's how I got it. I will put the uh, part number in the description so you can check that out, as well as the other parts that you need. Um, this right here is a M6 by 80 bolt socket head cap screw. Um, and you can use something like this, or if you want to go fancy, you can order something like this off of AliExpress like I did. Um, the steel is not as good, and this isn't cut totally straight. So, uh, full disclosure there, it's not very good. <laughs> but, the knob looks cool. <laughs> so, basically how this goes in is there is a slot right or uh, the winged slot right there that you put it into and then you rotate it 90 degrees until you feel that uh, that groove and I felt that groove and you can see that I can't rotate it now because it's inside the groove and that's the point where you tighten this and it only needs to be hand tight it doesn't need to be reefed on um, maybe it's a little off there we go that's better and, uh, yeah, that's all you need to do, really. I bought two knurled sleeves off of AliExpress. Um, you can find them by uh, searching knurled sleeves. Um, and this one has a 12 millimeter outside diameter and a 6 millimeter inside diameter, uh, originally. And what I did was, oh, and they're 30 millimeters long. Uh, so 60 millimeters long in total. Um, what I did was I drilled each one to an inside diameter of eight millimeters, and that was the size, the outside diameter of this. So um, I didn't allow any tolerance there, and I did that on purpose so that way I can take a hammer and friction fit both of these on here, and they are on there. So um, yeah, it works out very well, and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so I'll give you an example of it cutting here. Um, so I got this burnishing tool. I have no real uh, connection with it since I have plenty of these, so um, I'm just going to cut it on the tip just to show you. So this wooden blade, this jigsaw blade right here, might be the best uh, to use since it has fine teeth. And I'll probably cut it right here. Oops. And there you go. Now, uh, I think I'll show you how it cuts metal. So we're just going to cut a little bit since I don't really have a, uh, a hard surface, like an actual strong workbench. This desk isn't very sturdy. So I'll put in this uh, finer metal one, and uh, let's see if I can cut this at all. So this is just a standard clip for... Uh, um, some lights so that I don't need anymore. Alright, so as you can see, it is cutting. Um, yeah. I'm not going to cut it all the way through, but uh, you get the general gist of it. Alrighty, so all the, uh, again, all the parts are in the description. This has been a video on this little mini hacksaw that I keep with me in my pocket organizer. And uh, if you like this video and you want me to continue making these types of videos, then please subscribe and like. And that's it. So have yourself a great day. Goodbye.